Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright, let's continue exploring this dungeon here. Alright, Steel Shine Chest Guard. I'm pretty sure that's going to be real armor, so we can't use it. That is correct. Alright. I'm going to look at this map again real quick. So, I wonder... I'm guessing it shows if there's just a monster in these treasure, these rooms with treasure, or if these are champions. That's something I'm eager to discover here. Alright, so let's, uh... These guys can be deceptively dangerous. I'm gonna jump back here, just to be safe. Alright. Alright, so again, let me check this. Uh, so we're... So this room back into the left. I want to see if this is just two regular monsters, or if those are champions or what. So they're just regular monsters. Uh, okay, so we got hit with that arrow that causes the bleed. That's always fun. So I'm going to jump out of line of sight real quick. Uh, still have one more round of bleed, but if he hits me again, it's probably going to be bad. So I might want to pop a potion here just to be extra safe. Uh, alright, so, yeah, and you know what? I don't want to take any chances with this guy. I'm going to power drive him. 129 damage on a crit. Alright, that's good. Alright, now we wouldn't need to rest because we're still healing, but uh, we want our stamina back. So we will rest for that reason. Watching it climb. Alright, we have been interrupted by these guys, or this dude right here. Uh, he has 80 health. I'm going to power drive him. <laughs> Another crit. I guess I'm, I'm assuming that always crits, uh, but now we gotta rest again, get that stamina back that we just spent. Okay, there's the pangolin. Uh, so how much damage did he do? 13? That's not terrible. Um, Alright, let's jump back. Now that was a crit again right there. That's nice. So, <laughs> two steps forward, one step back. We gotta rest again. And another one of these guys. Uh, I think, I don't think we need to use the power drive on him. Let's see here. And 22, 16. Okay, he's only doing 12. And, I mean, I should have just used it because we're going to have to rest one way or the other, either to get the health back or the stamina. Oh man, they just will not leave me alone here. They just won't do it. Alright, I think we're actually going to get to rest all the way up. There we go. Okay. Uh, Alright, okay. Didn't see that dude there. Take care of that. Alright, so let's make sure we haven't picked up anything useful here. Uh, that's not as good as the bow we have. Those are not as good. Uh, right, okay, we're good. We're good. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Cold-Blooded Reptile with innate ice magic. Yeah, these guys can create ice blocks. And there they are. And I could be wrong, but I think just these things being here stops you from resting. We don't need to rest right now. That's why it's usually a decent idea to destroy them. They only last a certain number of rounds, but uh, it speed that process up. Alright. Okay, so let's rest because our health is not looking great. Alright, we've been interrupted. No problem. Rest again, and we've been interrupted. Uh, I'm gonna power drive him. I don't... Did that kill him? I think it did. Yeah, it did. Okay. Oh, man. I should probably get into a better position to rest, like over here, so it takes them longer to get within line of sight. Because line of sight, I guess, is when my rest is broken. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's jump back here. I think we might be out of range of his magic attack, yeah. Okay, skirmish shot. So, no matter what these stats are, and they're comparable, basically the same in, in terms of damage, um... Look at the range. It's a range of four. I, I, I pretty much never want to use the skirmish shot, though, for that reason. Oh my goodness. Right, normally we'd be trapped here and we'd be in a lot of trouble, but we can just hop right over this. 
And then now we're going to use the double shot here. Whoops, I meleeed him. That was not the right course of action. Uh, how much health does he have? 16. And now we're getting flanked. Uh, okay, before I pull back, I want to use that last round where we had the two arrows. This guy's at full health. We've got full health over here. I'm going to take one step over here. Then I'm going to jump, get some space. And we're going to get hit. Oh, he missed, I guess, because we don't have the bleed going. So how much... So this is on strain, so it's going to cost 22 stamina. That's not... We don't have enough. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Especially if that guy keeps missing, so that worked out for us. There's someone else over here. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we can hit that enemy from here. Alright, I'm going to back up right here and try to rest. Let's try that again. Alright, that... As we don't have full stamina, but that, that'll be fine for the moment. Oh, I keep uh, clicking on the wrong thing here. Let's back up. Yeah, thing... The difficulty has gotten... You'll notice uh, up here it says Adventurous. That's the difficulty level of this dungeon. Uh, we've mainly been dealing with... Uh, trying to remember what the word is for, like, one below this, but of course my mind is blanking right now. But yeah, so this is uh, somewhat dangerous. Right, man, these carpenter bees are everywhere. Let me jump out of here. And then move, well... Okay, that's good that we one-shotted him. Don't, again, did not mean to melee there. Let's jump again, because I don't want to get trapped. Alright, so that guy used the... That mage used some kind of air blast spell that knocked us back. It actually helped us. Put us in a really good position here. And the carpenter bee is stuck behind their own construction there. And these guys are stuck, too. The question is, how much closer do I need to get just one more tile? No? Okay. Make that one more. Now, I should have the advantage, because I don't think they can reach me here. Man, that's a lot of enemies coming from down there. There's still more. Alright, let's see if we can get our stamina back real quick. Yes, we can. Well, for the most part. We have really good positioning right here. Wow. Okay. Alright. Now, so which one is this? This is the B Halberdier. Or Halberdier. I don't know how you say it. I gotta remember that they can uh, knock you back in, just like this guy can. Hmm. Let's see, he's just out of range. I'm gonna wait one turn. Hopefully he doesn't charge from there. There we go. Alright. Okay, so let's uh, take a brief look here, see if we got anything useful. Uh, no, we did not. So this is that bow we picked up in the last episode. Uh, it's technically better. It does one more damage, but it doesn't have any enchantments, and I don't have any bolster weapon spell uh, spells. Scrolls. So I don't want to switch to it yet. I don't want to lose the advantage I have from these enchantments. Let's look at the map here. So we have not... We have not cleared everything out here. There's some more uh, treasure right here, but I think I want to go down to the next floor anyway. And this is going to be the third floor. It might be the boss floor. It might not. Uh, I don't want to mess with this guy. I'm going to power drive him. Hopefully we can get our stamina back here. Yep. All right. You get the feeling that many particularly dangerous foes are laying in wait. It's not usually good news, is it? We just got a scroll of bolster weapon, though. Odin picks up scroll of bolster weapon. Uh, where is it, though? There it is right there. Okay, so... Let me equip this bow. You don't have to, but let me use scroll bolster weapon. Let's see what we got. Uh, 2d5 plus 2 and poison damage. Now, unfortunately, all, as good as poison damage can be, 
that doesn't play into our bonuses on fire and cold. Whereas uh, our old bow does have that. Now where is the old one that we just... This one right here? Yeah, so I'm going to have to switch back to this. That's unfortunate, but uh, it'll be fine. Okay, that guy did a lot of damage. I'm going to rest. Alright, we need to be very careful here. Now, notice this up here. Now it says dangerous, so this floor is even worse than the last one. That's why we need to be really careful. Alright, good damage there. Uh, let's go... let's go down here. These guys have... oh, I don't even know how much HP they have. Okay, that's no problem. There's that frog again. Let's uh, jump back. Go. I don't think we need to rest just... okay. Oh, I hate these guys right here. The lizard man brute. We talked about them last time. Uh, let's jump back again. Create some space. And then I'm gonna debuff him. There we go. We definitely want to rest. I hope there's no more monsters down here. There definitely could be. There's the halberder. Uh, let me go right down here and try to rest. See how much stamina we can get back. Ah, not bad. Furrier's Finesse is something we just picked up. What is this? Uh, defeat block and parry. Ten. Or is defeat armor what we want? We probably want defeat armor. Would be my guess. Alright. Okay, so I've noticed this a couple times where they'll have two enemies in the same square. I didn't think, I didn't know that was possible until very recently. So what makes me curious is, does that mean I'll hit both of them if I power drive? Let's see. See, no, I only hit one of them, that's for sure. Okay. Alright, stamina is very low. I'll go right in here and rest. Carpenter B. Rest again. Alright. Alright, there's a champion. Um, this could be... This could be bad. <laughs> could be bad. Uh, I don't think he has a ranged attack. Let's hit this guy. And then we'll power drive this guy. 84. Didn't even take him down to half, but it's still decent. Let's debuff him. Uh, that, I believe, he's acting like he is rooted, but I don't think this does that. Oh, I don't know why he's not moving. But, uh, hey, I'm not going to complain. Definitely not going to complain. Alright, so, we've leveled up again. So now we can choose Pinamizer, where you launch four arrows that deal around 44 total damage, but they also pin the target in place for five rounds. Uh, and the first time you use this power in a turn, it costs zero uh, AP, which is quite nice. And then this is fire a single ranged attack against each target you can see in a 5x5 five five area. So these are both great. But I kind of I kind of want this root one. We were just talking about rooting, so I'm going to go with the Penomizer here. All right. Oh, there's more there than I thought. Okay, let's jump back. Hmm. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to see if we can survive this. Oh, this is another champion. I didn't even realize it. Alright, well, let me try to kill that guy. Of course, that didn't work. This is getting bad. So, let us see what we have. Let's go with Bark Skin Potion to get our armor way up. And then I'm going to fire at this guy again. We don't have enough stamina to use any of our spells here. Or not spells, but... Okay, that's not good. Okay. Oh, man. Alright. Healing potion. Do I have a stamina potion? I do. 
it might not be enough. I mean, yeah, we're one point short here of being able to jump out of the way. This is not good at all. We could very well be dead here. Could very well be about to die. Do I have combat blinking scroll? I do. Uh, we're going to go way down here. Oh, man, that was close. Oh, man. Hey, and there is our first egg. Now, I really hope we don't die, because I really want to get Obomancer at the Academy. All right, that dude just threw, like, a million uh, throwing stars at us or something. All right, we've got to... Man, we've got to rest. I think we're clear up here. Yeah, let's get up in the corner. Rest. Oh, of course. Let's try that again. There's another egg, too. I'm not sure that there's a difference between the eggs. I mean, you do... I don't, I don't know. Maybe there's different... I think there's different starting stats for the different chickens. Anyway, we're rested up here. Um, okay. Oh, I hate those guys. Power drive them. Alright, let's get our stamina back. This should be a... I was just gonna... Uh, I was gonna say, this should be a safe spot. Nope. No, yeah, keep on coming. Yeah, they're just not gonna stop. <sighs> what did we get him down to? 21? He's buffed. Alright, we're alright. We're really gonna need. We're really gonna need a better bow, and we're gonna need it soon, like very soon. Debuff him. Oh man, here we are again without any stamina. All right. Okay, we're gonna use. I need to rest. We're going to use a, a door spike for once. I'm pretty sure I have some somewhere around here. Where are the door spikes? I, I must have picked one up, right? Tin steel or berlilium, this will be a stronger one. So we want to use that right there. So that's going to lock the door so that those enemies back there are going to have to break through before they can get to me. So I'm just going to go right here and rest. And uh, that didn't do anything. <laughs> and if we go up here to risk, the ice might stop us. Yeah. Oh, man. This is getting rough. It's getting really, really rough. Oh, man. All right, we got our stamina back. I'm starting to wonder if we even we're even strong enough to kill whoever the boss is in here. I just I don't think we're doing enough damage with this bow. I really don't. We might be able to eke out a victory using scrolls and stuff. But I don't feel confident here at all. There's another bow, but there's it's not enchanted or anything. Part of me wants to leave and try to find a better bow and buy one, you know, but at the same time, a very stubborn part of me thinks we can do this. All right, let's look at the map here. Hmm, all right, let's go this way. I wonder if that this could be where the boss is, by the way, so I don't want to use skills because I want to save my stamina for the boss. Yep, the boss is here. And it's an assassin. Okay, so what is the range of bees, please? That scroll. Up to five tiles away. So we could hit these two. I'm going to use that. Okay, so that killed one. 
We've got more. We have a ton, actually, so I'm going to hit him again. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. That did 23 damage. we got to... I don't know how we're going to do this. we got to use a uh, healing potion now. I don't, I don't have healing 2. I only have healing 1. All right, so we should be able to buy some time by backing up here. Trying to confuse that boss a little. Alright, so, alright, there he is. Power drive immediately. 115, that's not bad. We only have 20 stamina left. I want to root him in place, but that takes 32 stamina, so that's not happening. Uh, we can do Shellbreaker to debuff him. There we go. Oh man, that was uh that was kind of intense, I'm not gonna lie. There could still be more monsters in there, so I gotta get my stamina back real quick. Yeah, there's one up there. It's a pangolin, isn't it? Of course it is. Some wrists. Just out of reach. Just go up here and grab that. Alright, so did we get anything useful? Please tell me that we did. This is better armor. Can we identify it? We can. And it's not bad. Good. Uh, this has 60 fire resist. And 10% total parry. We're definitely putting that on. Uh, 11. That's not better. Okay, we didn't get anything there. Uh, that was that other bow that we enchanted, but it wasn't that great. Okay. I want to grab this money here. And that tin steel dome warmer. That's it's the same as what we're wearing. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here, man. Let us get out of here. Alright, that place is clear. So, we got to do something about this bow, that is for sure. Uh, do we have any purloined inventory? I don't remember. Let's check what the max prosperity is. Oh, we don't have any, but... They have a max of four. We don't have any right now. I still want to take a look here. Uh, right? No. Don't want that. There's bolster armor. I'd rather get... Now, let's buy the scroll of identify. You know, let's just get the... This is expensive for bolster armor, but we have plenty of gold. Let's grab it. Alright, melee weapons do not care. Alright, real armor can't use that. Melee stuff. Uh, you know what? No, I was going to say, let's sleep at the end and get some bonus XP rounds, but we're not heading into a dungeon just yet, so I don't want to waste all those rounds going to the academy and all that kind of stuff. Alright, nothing better here. Okay. We need to go back to the academy anyway, because we've got eggs. Uh, where am I anyway? I don't even remember how I got here. We have to go where? Oh, up this way. Right? Yeah. We're further down south than I thought. Alright, so we're going to go to the headmaster. And first we'll say we're bringing these relics, so we got some knowledge about bees. And we also got a good relic here uh, to give to the museum. Uh, now here's what we're what we're looking for. What a mysterious egg this is. There's magic here, that's for sure. And I know just who to call upon to help sort this out. So, Professor Hatch, Ovomancer, has joined the Academy faculty. Find him to the right of the Battlemaster and learn all about the magic of eggs and battle poultry. So this is a very good development for us. Alright, so he will explain everything, and just for the benefit of everyone, let's let's have him explain this. So, Ovomancy is egg magic. What we do here is we raise battle poultry, spirited feathery comrades that fight at your side in battle. They grow alongside you, and if you feed them delicious monster steaks that show up when they're around, you can guide them down paths of toughness or swiftness, and decide if they fight in melee or at range. 
The delicious monster steaks have an additional benefit. As your pet eats them, they may learn special abilities of the monsters that the steaks were sourced from. That's great. Uh, and then they also gain innate abilities as they move closer to maximum toughness or swiftness. So toughness and swiftness are on a uh, on a spectrum, basically. So if you have, let's say, by the way, there's a max of five, right? Like five toughness or five swiftness. If you have five toughness and you eat a steak that gives swiftness, you will go toward you'll go the other way, so you'll have four toughness. So that that's how that works, and it's the same with melee and ranged. I'm pretty sure. Uh, all right. So you can only have one pet active at a time, but you may carry as many eggs as you like. And to change your active pet, you just have to equip the egg and then use your battle bird whistle. If the pet falls in battle, all is not lost. They will immediately retreat to their egg, and but they're wounded, so you have to come back to this guy and get them healed. All right. And then if I die, of course, uh, that's what we're asking here. <laughs> You're going to live forever, but if you don't, your eggs will be kept safe here at the ranch. And your pets will always match your level. So their, their stats will stay the same, but their level will not. Alright, so he's going to give us a whistle. Alright, now we have some eggs here. Or, or wait, I thought we... Oh, I guess we have to get them from him, that's right. Yeah, so ready to work some egg magic, let's get to it. Now, let's take a look at this mysterious egg you dropped off earlier. Pick up the egg and equip it, and then use your battle bird whistle. So there's the egg. Now we go over here and we equip it by clicking on it. Now it's going to appear right there. And now we click on the whistle. And then you can name your sidekick. They've randomly generated the name Cheddar, and I kind of like it. So that's going to be the name of our chicken companion. So if we go over here and mouse over the egg, you can see this is a level 6 chicken because I am level 6. He has 0 toughness, 0 ranged, 0 pluck, and generation 1. Now generation 1, I don't know what that means. I'm just going to tell you right now. And pluck, I still haven't figured that out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, again, toughness and swiftness are on a spectrum, and ranged and melee are on a spectrum. So if we feed him a steak that has melee, it'll say melee 1. Uh, if we have it ranged, or so ranged 1, that kind of thing. And we'll see how that goes, because now as we start killing enemies with our bird by our side, they will start to drop steaks. So what I like to do is, as a ranged character, I like to make my chicken be a melee character. And then I'll make another chicken that'll be a ranged chicken. I know this sounds insane. <laughs> and uh, that way, when I use a melee character, I have a ranged sidekick. Companion. All right. All right, so let's just make sure we identify everything here. Uh, we turned in all our relics. Oh, no, we didn't. We had proof of strength still and some more true things and another egg. I think that's kind of, that's not really a bug, but kind of. We had, you're supposed to just find one egg in the beginning, probably. Yeah, okay, so that didn't reset this. So you can store eggs here. Uh, so, well, we don't have any extra ones. Uh, but you can do that. But one last thing, let's look at... Uh, so you'll notice this was identified, and you can see it's bad. So this is why I said you don't want to just equip unidentified stuff, because you don't know if it's bad or not. Now, if you put it on, I don't think it's, like, cursed and you can't take it off, but maybe... So I just don't risk it, you know? And do we have any books? Yes. Alright, turned in a book too. So let's melt down this other gear. And we're going to get tin steel and berlilium. Melt it all down. And then starting weapons and armor. Uh, we could upgrade this again so that when we start our next character, our weapon will be plus two. I'm going to do that right now. Let's do that. That's fine. All right, so now we finally have a companion, and we can head back into the world. Unfortunately, though, this is going to be the end of this episode. But as always, thank you very much for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it very much. Please hit like and subscribe if you would like to, and I will see you all next time.